What if you could upload your resume once and automatically get the best match jobs delivered to your email, scored, filtered, and ready to apply without touching a single job board? Watch this. This entire list was generated automatically. No manual searching, no endless scrolling, just upload a PDF and this NA10 workflow does everything. Scrapes indeed with Firecrawl, uses AI to score every job against your actual skills, and emails you only the matches worth your time. And here's the magic. Firecrawl uses AI to extract exactly what you need. No CSS selectors that break when sites update. Then another AI scores each job 0 to 100 against your resume. Below 50, gone. You only see real matches. The same pattern works for price tracking, competitor research, lead gen, anywhere you need to scrape data and make smart decisions fast. Let's start with a quick demo, followed by the automation workflow step-by-step -step walkthrough. So I'm going to start with a sample resume. So this person lives in Wisconsin Rapids, and they have a general accounting profile, followed by their education, professional experience. I'm going to go to my NA10 form and enter the email address to send to, and then choose the resume, and then submit. So about five minutes later, you get a detailed email with a number of opportunities that have a match score of 50% and higher ranked by the top one. So this is a 90% match by the AI. It gives you the specific role, the company name, as well as the location, the pay. It matches also exactly the skills that are perfect fits and also the skills gaps. And then you can have a link here that goes directly to that particular role. And then you can continue looking at the different matches. So now let's do a detailed walkthrough. In this workflow, there's five steps. There is the resume processing, followed by a job search strategy, and then the web scraping process, the AI matching engine, followed by a results delivery. So let's go and drill down into each of the steps. All right, let's start with the resume processing stage. And the first node here is a form trigger. So in here at the form trigger, uh, I get the email and then I get the resume. And from there, I process that information in using a extract from file node. So if I go here, extract from file, and then in here, I select extract from PDF, and then I use the input binary field, which was uploaded the resume, and then this converts it into text. The next node is a AI agent node. So it's a standard AI agent node that I'm using. And inside here, I go and tell it to analyze this resume and generate job search keywords for Indeed and LinkedIn. And then I pass into it the resume text, and then I give it a structured output parser. So the structured output parser, I am interested in a JSON object that has uh, job titles, keyword, and location. So here are some job titles, here are some keywords, and then here's the location that I want to look. Now, this step is complete, and now I'm going to go to the job search strategy step. So in this step, what I'm going to do is set up a URL. So this URL, I'm going to generate five URLs that corresponds to paginated uh, starting points. So this gives me uh, 50 uh, job opportunities. So this sets it up for uh, the next stage here. So this is a batch scrape link from multiple URLs. So this is using uh, the powerful Firecrawl uh, API. So this API allows us to scrape uh, a number of uh, links all at once. So this is very, very powerful from uh, Firecrawl. And what I'm doing here is uh, taking this uh, community node. So I have to go in here and select Firecrawl. So if it's not installed, you can go and install this, and then you'll be able to get all these different actions after you install it. Now, what I do here is uh, pass into it the five URLs. So this five URLs, I patch it into this batch scraping, uh, and then I tell it, just give me all the links from the pages, right? So it's gonna go and take a look at all the five URLs and just get me all the links. So then it's gonna go and uh, scrape it, and this we'll call a subflow. This subflow is uh, essentially just a execute subflow node that I point to the subflow. So this subflow, all it does is it waits for 10 seconds and then it calls this scrape, uh, this um, uh, URL here that uh, checks whether or not 
uh, the scraping is done, right? So it's going to iterate through here until it's done. And when it's done, it's going to get all the uh, different links to the different pages, right? So this will give me here 40, uh, 47 links. And then each of the links points to a page, right? Then the next step is going to the web scraping process. So this web scraping process, the first thing I'm going to do is then uh, ask Firecrawl to go ahead and do a batch scrape of those 47 web pages, right? So in here, I do a scrape. So uh, you can go into the docs here and then uh, look at the APIs, match to the URL, and then look at the credentials. And then in here, what I do is pass into it a a uh, JSON body that has all their URLs to scrape. So this will pass into it 47 URLs. And then once again, I call into the subflow and the subflow will uh, wait for the 47 URLs to complete scraping. And then uh, I can then format the information. So here uh, I'm using another code node to format the information. So I'm, I format each of the uh, fire crawl uh, scrapes into specific information such as compensation, job description, the apply link, uh, the title, and and the company, and I do that so that I can then split the jobs. So now this split jobs will take all uh, forty seven information that I've scraped from each of the pages, and it's going to split into forty seven tasks that I uh, pass into the next stage, which is the AI matching engine. So in this AI matching engine, uh, this is once again an AI agent node. And then what I do here is I say you are a job matching expert, compare the candidate's resume with his job posting and provide a matching score from zero to 100. So then I pass the candidate's resume that I extracted and then I pass the job details from each of the links that were scraped by Firecrawl. And then I analyze how well the candidate's uh, skills match job description, uh, the experience alignment, location compatibility, and any red flags or missing skills and then I provide a matching score explanation, list of skills and missing skills, and then uh, include the job ID, right? So then once again, I also uh, use this uh, structured output uh, to tell, it, tell the AI agent exactly the format I want. So I give an example of matching score, uh, matching reason, missing skills, and matching skills and job ID. So it's done that for each of the seven uh, job opportunities or each of the 47 job opportunities. Now, uh, then what I do here is I extract all the jobs from, from that, right? So I basically just uh, do some uh, formatting here, extract all the jobs, and then I merge everything into this one node, making sure that I now have now 47 uh, results from the score match. And then I do a filter. So this is a filter that you can uh, select from here. And then in this filter, I just, uh, for, for each of the uh, jobs, I say, if it's greater than 50, then I let it continue. If it's less than that, I filter it out. So, but you can select 60, 70, or 80, depending on uh, how stringent that you want the match. So then we sort that, and then we go into the results delivery. So in this results delivery, again, we do some formatting, right? So we format it in a nice way that allows us to take the next step uh, which is uh, this uh, HTML uh, formatting node, right? So uh, this is a little bit of uh, uh, using Claw to generate what a nice output could look like. And then uh, we format the, the uh, each of the matching jobs into this node. And then from here, we send it to this Gmail node. And so in this Gmail node, we uh, send to the email, and then we uh, uh, send the HTML from the previous node. And once the last node is executed, you get this output from the Gmail.